schoolyard digs are very hard for most teachers to do. They can't get permission to go out in the yard and dig it up. They're larger, they take more work, and they're messier. So we will attempt to illustrate a schoolyard dig that is partially excavated, encourages thinking before the students start, pulling things together after they've ended. So you can have a bigger area to work in and go through the process like a real archaeologist, but not have quite the same level of mess. For my seventh grade history class, what I'm thinking is I'm trying to connect them with the textbook, with the, with the evidence of history, with the evidence of material culture. So much of the textbook is photos, descriptions of material culture. So I want them to get a sense of where that material culture might come from, at least one sense. So we look at the role of an archaeologist, we look at uh, excavation, the tools, the concepts, and then reconstruction and thinking about uh, observations and inferences, drawing conclusions from that evidence that we uncover. What do we know and what don't we know? What's it impossible to know? What else might we want to look for in other areas?